Hello everybody and welcome to another CP Showtunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to actually adjust the volume of your audio effect by using a slider. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that but as you can see we now have sound and if we start pulling this away then we no longer have sound which is terrific. So let's go ahead and get started on how to do this. So starting off, of course, you're going to need to make an audio source. Uh, so I cr simply created an empty game object called audio and put it as a child on my player object. Now you, of course, can choose whatever you want to do or wherever you want to place this, but uh, I, of course, put it there. Now this is a audio clip that you can get off of Unity. It's like an RPG uh, free audio clip or whatnot. Uh, all I did was simply put it on play, on awake, and loop. Now, you can set this off if you want to. I want to go ahead and just have it on just for the heck of it. Um, volume, you want to keep at 1, and of course, yeah. So you can adjust and mess with settings if you want to, but for this tutorial, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now comes the second important part. Of course, is the slider. Now, the slider is a simple UI. All you need to do is underneath the UI, uh, just simply add in slider. You can edit the slider, make it look however you want it to look. I just simply changed the background and the fill color, and that's all that I did there. Now keep in mind, you do want to have the max value of the slider to be 1 and the min value to be 0. That way you can set the audio controller to equal what the audio volume is. Okay, so now we're going to discuss the script and how to actually make it work. So let's set it over here and I simply created a script called audio control. Very simple script. and you're going to need two public variables. One's an audio source and one's a slider. So the audio source I named music and the slider I called audio slider. You can call it whatever you want as long as you use that as your reference. Now underneath void start we put music which of course is equal to the audio source is equal to music the audio source dot get component audio source. So we're finding this audio source Next, we're going to go underneath the void update function and we're going to say music.volume, so we're going to find the volume, is equal to audio slider.value. So the current value of the audio slider is going to be setting the value of this music at its current volume. Now, you may think, okay, so if I adjust the audio slider to greater than 1, then we're going to adjust the music volume to greater than 1. And you think it would work that way, but unfortunately, that's not exactly how it works. So I was doing a couple experiments earlier trying to figure out how to set the max value of our audio slider. So say for instance, our slider, if I decide to set that max value up to like uh, 5, for instance, then it would set the value in music max at 5. But unfortunately, Unity did update and so now if you actually try to set in max volume is equal to whatever it will give you an error message so I would not worry about that it's not really needed uh, inside this particular case uh, so yeah I hope this answer is any questions that you guys had about this particular topic uh, if you have any more questions about anything just feel free to ask and if you guys like this video Please like it, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.